and we're in. You like that? Yeah, my, my horse was a little faster, wasn't it? So uh, as Scott said, a lot of moving pieces. So we're going to tie this back. Where's this showing up in the market? And for many of you that have been here, we have said in the past, we have the easiest job in the world. Simple. All we have to do are figure out two things, earnings and price to earnings. You multiply those two together, it gets the price of every stock and the price of every market. Pretty simple job. So let's focus on price to earnings, or what we call valuation. So this is the valuation of the market. Many of you have seen this, but I love seeing some new faces in here. These two lines, the blue line is the actual PE of the market. What is the market paying for a dollar of earnings? And the red line is a theoretical. What should it be paying? And we get the red line. We like to use common sense around here. The red line is simply taking the number 20. This is called the rule of 20. The number 20 minus the 10-year bond. And as Ken said, the 10-year bond is at 3%. 20 minus 3 gets you 17, which is about what the market should be paying. So what we've seen in the past is sometimes the blue line goes above the red line. And we call that expensive. You see that big jump there, that was the tech bubble. That was not a lot of fun. And of course, the market corrected and went right back to fair value. Then we had the Lehman crisis. The market became very inexpensive for the last 10 years, and it's been closing the fun way by the market going up and valuation improving. So what happened last meeting was the first time in 10 years we came out, we were a little more cautious on the market with valuation. So if you look really closely, the blue line went above the red line for the first time in 10 years. So the market went to about 5% overvalued. That wasn't a lot of fun. If you look even closer, that blue line has now gone back under the red line. We have gone from 5% overvalued in December, on December 6th to 5% undervalued today. So that's good. So it's a nice, it's not a great number, but it sure beats being overvalued. The even more amazing thing is this happened while the market's gone up. Most time valuation improves because the market goes down. The market is actually up about 5% since the last time we met. So how do you have a market go up and then valuation improves by 10%? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. How does that happen? And obviously the other key component, it's earnings. Earnings have been very, very strong. So this is the long-term trend line on earnings, which is about 5 to 7% over time. If you the last little hookup, things have really accelerated. For 2018, estimates now are for the earnings to be up 